News now. A witness says alcohol played a role in an early morning crash that took the lives of five young men. The victims were speeding home from a party on Haven Avenue in Ontario when the driver went through a red light. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen is live in Ontario with a witness account of what happened. Jeff. Rob, I want to give you a look at the deadly trail of destruction here because the car somersaulted onto this iron fence. It kept on going and took out a concrete post before ending up in that backyard. This is all that's left of a 2005 Nissan Sentra after a violent crash that killed five young men in Ontario. The driver here yeah, ran a red light, swerved, then he crashed. Roly Bari was in a separate car just before two this morning when he and the victims of the Sentra were coming back from a party. He witnessed the driver of the Sentra lose control on Haven Avenue as he tried to avoid another car at the intersection of Creekside Drive. How fast do you think he was going? Like 75. One of the victims was Bari's cousin, 23 year old Marquel Bogan, known as Q to friends and family. Bogan was 6'1, 275 pounds, and despite his stature, his brother Michael Baker says he was a gentle giant. He's soft to rush and, you know, and very easy to hold. The other victims were 23 year old Jawan Bennett seen here with a black ball cap. 21 year old Irvin McKinnis seen here with a Raiders hat. 20 year old Dylan George of Ontario and the driver was 21 year old Jonathan Watson pictured here with a towel on his head. Witnesses say his car rolled about five times before slamming into the backyard belonging to Art Gonzalez's father. The car stopped about four approximately four feet away from the from his bedroom wall. Roly Bari says Watson had been drinking before the crash. Despite that, Marquel Bogan's family says they don't resent the driver and they hope this will serve as a reminder to young people that one decision can affect five families. And an 86 year old man as well as two children were inside that home at the time of the crash, but thankfully they were not hurt. We are live in Ontario. Jeff Nguyen, CBS 2 News.